I really like doing trials on farm, on our farm, in our situations, how we manage the crops, rather than looking at other people's data. And I think that's a really valuable thing. And whatever you want to trial, whatever we trial, we always test it on farm before we make a major change. The biggest benefit of doing trials on farm is you should get real data on your situation. And also the other thing I really like about a lot of the things we've done is it's often done within the community of other farmers. I think we have to look at it in, from an economic point of view. There is a demand to reduce our nitrogen from our uh, emissions point of view, but ultimately we're here to be a profitable business. And if we can make more profit and make more money, then we will continue to do what we do. But we have to be more aware. And what we really need to focus on is that nitrogen use efficiency. And if we can get the same yield from less, then that's got to be the best thing to do. So we've done lots of trials over the years. Uh, we've done everything from having uh, herbicide trials up to uh, fungicide trials. We've done a lot of fungicide trials. So before field view, any sort of field trials you'd need to do, you'd have to either, obviously you'd have to mark them out somehow so you knew where different treatments were or different rates and anything. So with some physical markers, and that sometimes got lost in in translation and also got lost in time over the over the course of the year. So, and then we would have been bringing that data back into Gatekeeper and we'd also then have to harvest different sections of the fields in certain borders and, and make sure you knew what you'd done where and weigh it all separately, things like that. Now with the, with the use of field view, you, can, you don't have to, obviously you don't have to mark anything because it's all digitally marked, it's all virtual. And also you don't have to particularly combine the field in, a, in, a, in a, such a rigorous way because you just analyse it later in, in field view. So I suppose field is bringing a, an element of convenience to all that and allowing you, I guess, to, to conduct more trials then? Yeah, it is. It is. And it sort of, it brings in virtual boundaries and it sort of ring fences those treatments and that's going forward. So whatever you've, if you've done a different fungicide or a different nitrogen rate, that area will always be identified and you can then do an analysis on that with the yield data you've got in field view and it'll just tell you what the yield is in that area. So once you've finished the field and it's all it's completed, the, the application is finished, you get the opportunity to then create a report. You can either do that then and just it creates in a PDF form and then that PDF file just gets emailed straight from your from your iPad in the cab to wherever you want to send it to. The main thing I like about FieldView is the transferability and mobility of data it gives me. So if we record something in the field and we do it, if, we, if it's a spray or a trial or anything like that, then I, as long as I've got my phone or an iPad with me, I can go to that trial again and see exactly what I did, when I did it. And also, the other thing that's quite nice, you can then compare it against the other layers of data you get generated within FieldView with the biomass and the vegetation indexes. So it's really good to go and just sort of check what you're doing. It's with our rotation, with our soil type, with our climate. Um, and then we know that if, it, if it's gonna happen, um, on the farm, then, um, then, if sorry, if it's going to happen with our uh, with our farm trials, then it's more likely to happen on our field. So, the silt for silt soils that we farm are fairly niche. There's not a lot of data done on silt, so having our own relevant farm trials is critical to us. The most useful data analysis tool on field view for us, I would believe, we are quite fortunate. We do have a Weybridge, but the Weybridge is at one site, and we've got another farm 15 miles away. Um, using the, the yield zoning tool um, has been amazing for us to be able to do data collection on our and trialling on our heavier soils, which normally we wouldn't do because it's so waste of fuel and time combining to have extra trailers back and forth from the Weybridge. We have done that in the past, but now we can just do bigger trials in more fields and just get more data per year. Do as many trials as we want. It doesn't slow the combining down. It's not, and it's just seamless. The field view trials um, allows you um, very accurate farm scale trials. Uh, you draw areas around uh, around the trial. So if we're doing 36 meters across the field, every other tram line, um, then we can draw draw an area around that, and yeah. then a click of a button, click it can give button. us the difference between the treated and the untreated areas for all those different. Yeah. Um, for all those different treated um, trial areas. And we can look at the variable rate nitrogen maps underneath the yield map and build up a bit more of a picture where the yield's coming from, how much nitrogen that little plot's got for X yield. Um, yeah, the accuracy is key. Having a farm trial that's not accurate, you may as well not do it. We're trying to be more efficient. We're trying to save costs. 
we try and relate to what the customer and the consumer wants. Um, the, the, the very topical parts are obviously nitrogen, nitrogen use efficiency, reducing that, uh, trying to reduce our carbon footprint, so with nitrogen being the, uh, the main uh, attributor to our carbon footprint. So nitrogen's playing a big part, so we'll be looking at um, more foliar uh, nutrition uh, rather than, um, than soil applied nutrition. Um, we'll also be looking at um, different cropping. Um, we've got gene editing um, becoming more important. Um, and uh, we might be able to use varieties where we actually use less inputs. Um, so seed selection, seed type, plant breeding um, will become more important. So the thing I like about Fieldview is that you are able to take chunks of the field and divide it up. And, and if, for instance, this year we've done some nitrogen trials, so I can take those nitrogen trials out of the middle of the field, uh, compare the yield with that with the section next to it, which had a different rate of nitrogen in it, to the section further down the field, which had yet another uh, amount of nitrogen on it. And then we can compare that and say, right, there is a yield benefit or a yield loss from doing a specific trial.